This is probably not as cool as the Susie version. I think this actually, I, I never saw the film. Um, I did not see the film. I'm, I'm looking at, I just pulled up YouTube and it's got like, you know, these prompts for videos and stuff. And um, the first prompt on my YouTube right now is Tears for Fears Doing Your Mom. Is that an actual song? Three days ago. What? what okay, hold up. I have to divert for a second. Um, okay, so I found the Scarlett Johansson version of Trust in Me, which I didn't even know was a thing because I have not seen the live action version of that film that came out in 2016, I guess. Um, so I didn't realize that was a thing because I, you know, my son is like pushing 30 at this point. I'm not really watching Disney videos, Disney movies anymore. But what the fuck is it doing your mom? Hold up. We're going to watch this together and then I'm going to do, uh, hold up. Are you for real? Okay. So you can see, like, I literally was like, uh, this is like filler. They gave me three prompts in front of the, the video I just watched to do Trust in Me. And it's like um, Pink Floyd. I think I actually already sung com comfortably numb. I don't know who Glenn is. Oh, Glenn, all the Always Sunny podcast. Okay, okay, Glenn. Okay, yeah, he's funny. But what the fuck is this shit, uh, you guys? And, and it's like... There are pictures of them from the 80s. Hold up, even. What is this? Okay, this is... Okay, no. <laughs> Wow, okay, how the hell did that end up in my prompts? That's so fucking crazy. Okay, hold up, we're gonna do Trust In Me. Let's go, <laughs> can't even. It's a parody song of Tears For Fears because I'm a, a fan. Oh, wow, they know I like big teeth. It's a thing, it's really a thing.
I really wish I could find the Susie version of this because I, I love that she's got the harp. She's got that super breathy voice. Um, you know, I did a little Susie background. Susie actually, you know, she's kind of like me. She was just belting it out. She didn't have a lot of vocal training when she, she started out as a punk. You know, she uh, dated Sid Vicious back in the uh, 70s. Um, she dated Rob, Robert Smith from The Cure. She has, she has been in the thick of things from fucking ever. And she was a, a powerhouse of her own. And I mean, she, you want to talk feminism, that chick. Susie is a, a rock. Um, and she was right there with the big boys, you know, in the punk scene. She did not have vocal training. And there was a point, I remember reading this back in the 80s. There was a point at which um, she had to get a vocal co coach because she was destroying her vocal cords based on what she was doing. Um, let me see if I can find it. Um, there's a really old song that I like a lot from Susie that uh, doesn't get played a lot. I mean, like a lot of her stuff doesn't really get played a lot. Let's be real. Because she was a goth. It was, um, God, she has so many great hits. Uh, I can't remember the name of that damn song. I've played it before, though. I've played it before. If I can find it, I'll I'll see what I can do here. Well, maybe I'll just find something else. I don't know if I can remember the name of the song. I haven't heard Dazzle in a long time. Let's see. Oh, this is the video for it. She used a lot of strings. She used a lot of strings in her music. strings you know that song she did with trust in me she, that, that sounds very much like a harp i'd be surprised if if budgie pulled that off with his guitar but it sounded like a harp to me 